Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I wish all the best for all of you. And I have something else. For all of you that are new on my channel and you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe me and leave a comment in the section below. So, today we're gonna talk about top 10 fastest supercomputers in the world for 2022. The 59 edition of the top 500 revealed the Frontier system to be the first true exascale machine with an HPL score of 1102 exaflop per second. The number one spot is now held by the Frontier system at Oak Ridge National Laboratory ORNL in the US, based on the latest HPE Curay EX. 235A architecture and equipped with AMD EPIC 64C 2 GHz processors, the system has 8,730,112 total cores, a power efficiency rating of 52.23 gigaflops per watt, and relies on gigabit Ethernet for data transfer. However, a recent development to the Frontier system has allowed the machine to surpass the one exaflop barrier with an exact HPL score of 1102 exaflop per second. Frontier is not only the most powerful supercomputer to ever exist, it's also the first true exascale machine. The top position was previously held for two years straight by the Fugaku system at the Recon Center for Computational Science, RCCS, in Kobe, Japan. Sticking with its previous HPL benchmark score of 442 petaflops per second, Fugaku has now dropped to number two. Considering the fact that Fugaku's theoretical peak is above the one exaflop barrier, there's calls to also call this system an exascale machine as well. However, Frontier is the only system able to demonstrate this on the HPL benchmark test. Another change within the top 10 is the introduction of the Lumi system at EuroHPC slash CSC in Finland. Now occupying the number 3 spot, this new system has 1,110,144 cores and has a HPL benchmark of nearly 152 petaflops per second. Lumi is also noteworthy in that it is the largest system in Europe. Finally, another change within the top 10 occurred at the number 10 spot with the new addition of the Adestra system at Gansey Science in France. It achieved an HPL benchmark score of 46.1 petaflop per second and is the second most powerful machine in Europe behind Lumi. So let's begin with our list. And the number one in our list is Frontier. Frontier is the number one system in the top 500. This HPE CREAC system is the first US system with a peak performance exceeding one exaflow per second. It is currently being integrated and tested at the ORNL in Tennessee, USA, where it will be operated by the Department of Energy do o -E. It currently has achieved 1,102 exaflop per second using 8,730,112 cores. The new HPE Cray X architecture combines third gen AMD EPIC CPUs optimized for HPC and AE with AMD Instinct. 250 times accelerators and slingshot 11 interconnect. Number two in our list is Fugaku. Fugaku, now the number two system, is installed at the Recon Center for Computational Science RCCS in Kobe, Japan. It has 7,630,848 cores, which allowed it to achieve an HPL benchmark score of 442 petaflops per second. This puts it 
three times ahead of the number three system in the list. Number three is Lumi. The new Lumi system, another HPE Cray X system installed at Euro HPC Center at CSC in Finland, is the new number three with a performance of 158.9 petaflops per second, just ahead of number four. The European High Performance Computing joint undertaking Euro HPC do is pulling European resources to develop top of the range exascale supercomputers for processing big data. One of the pan European pre exascale supercomputers, Lumi, is in CSC's data center in Kayanis, Finland. The number four summit. The summit and EBM built system at ORNL in Tennessee, USA is now listed at the number four spot worldwide with a performance of 148.8 petaflop per second on the HPL benchmark, which is used to rank the top 500 list. Summit has 4,356 nodes, each housing two Power 9 CPUs with 22 cores and 6 NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs, each with 80 streaming multiprocessor SM. The nodes are linked together with a Mellanox Dual Rail ADR Infinity Band network. Number 5. Sierra. Sierra is a system at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory CAUSA is at number 5. Its architecture is very similar to the 4th System Summit. It is built with 4320 nodes with 2 power 9 CPUs and 4 NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs. Sierra achieved 94.6 petaflop per second. Number 6. Sunway Taiyu Light is a system developed by China's National Research Center of Parallel Computer Engineering and Technology NRCPC and installed at the National Supercomputing Center in Wuxi, China's Jiangsu province, is listed at the number 6 position with 93 petaflops per second. Number seven. Now, on number seven on our list, we have Perlmutter. Perlmutter at number seven is based on the HPE Cray Shasta platform and a heterogeneous system with an AMD Epic base nodes and 1536 NVIDIA A100 accelerated nodes. Perlmutter achieved 64.6 petaflops per second. And now we will speak about number eight. So number eight in our list is Celine. Now at number eight, Celine is an NVIDIA DGX A100 super port installed in-house at NVIDIA in the USA. The system is based on an AMD EPIC processor with NVIDIA A100 for acceleration and a Mellanox HD at InfiniBand as network and achieved 63.4 petaflop per second. They are not the last one, but they really have a good performance and a really importance to all of us. So now we'll speak about the number nine. So at number nine in our list, we have TNHA 2A, Milky Way 2A a system developed by the China's National University of Defense Technology Unit and deployed at the National Supercomputer Center in Guangzhou. China is now listed as the number 9 system with 61.4 petaflop per second. And now in our list, the last but not at least, because it's a very important uh, because it's the number 10 in our list that, uh, that it's very good for us and in number 10 of our list we have the Adestra the Adestra system installed at the Gansi Science is the new to the list at number 10 it is the third new HPE 
Cray X system and the second fastest system in Europe. It achieved 46.1 petaflops per second.